Hi, I'm Mark from BetUS, and I'm here to talk about the Wolves versus Tottenham match on Saturday. With BetUS, I like the look of Wolves, draw no bet at plus 142, and you can find all the latest odds if you head to betustv.com forward slash odds. Now, the reason I like this bet is mainly down to Tottenham's absentees coming into this weekend. Anyone who saw Monday night's match against Chelsea will have seen two red cards as well as injuries to key players. So they're coming into this weekend without three of their first choice back four, following Christian Romero sending off, the doggies sending off and Van der Ven's injury. To go on top of that, you've got Madison going off injured. He's rated 50-50 this weekend. Perisic is injured. Ben Davis is absent as well. So Tottenham are down to the bare bones defensively. And there is an opportunity here for them to be opposed because I think Wolves are chalk and cheese between the home and away efforts. But at Molyneux, they've displayed a nice combination of grit and energy and putting teams under pressure. That resulted in a win over Man City, creditable draws against Newcastle and Aston Villas. And even the defeat against Brighton early on in the campaign wasn't quite as one-sided as the final score suggested. I think they've got brains, they've got brawn, they've got ball-playing ability, and they've got quality in forward areas, plus pace. And Spurs are lacking that now because of their injuries and absentees this weekend. So I'm quite keen to be with Wolves. Draw no bet at plus 142. I would be surprised to see them lose this match. I think Tottenham are just a little bit too short to back or trust in this particular fixture. I know Flash also has a view on this on this selection, on this on this match. Uh, You can go into the go and watch the 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 video in further detail. Uh, There's a link in the description thanks for watching and if you like my pick please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you're backing in the comments section below